Hey friends, happy Tuesday and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul and meal plan. Today I have a haul to share with y'all from Aldi. It's not a very big one, we didn't need a ton. I actually just went to Sam's Club yesterday. Um, if you missed that haul, I will leave it linked down below. I spent almost $400 there, got a bunch of meat and snacky stuff, things like that. So we didn't need a ton today. I stayed well under my budget, just around $100. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the meal plan for the week and then we'll get into the haul. Okay, here is the meal plan for the week. So for breakfast, I need to make Andy's breakfast burritos. They've got oatmeal and fruit, cereal and fruit, and yogurt, granola, and fruit. Then for lunch, we have leftovers, snack boards, quesadillas with black bean soup, and just kind of repeat those kinds of things. For dinner, we've got Italian beef noodles with salad, barbecue pulled pork, baked potatoes, air fryer chicken legs with mac and cheese and green beans and you'll notice two of these meals were from last week that we didn't end up having and then we've got sheet pan teriyaki salmon with veggies and rice bruschetta chicken pasta with salad beef schnitzel with mashed potatoes and gravy and taco spaghetti and then for snacks and desserts I just wrote fruit veggies and ranch or cottage cheese dip and nuts and turkey sticks and cheese okay here is everything that i got today as i said it's not a ton of stuff so we'll start over here with produce which we did need quite a bit of we got some green onions some broccoli two things of strawberries two things of grape tomatoes a cucumber bananas a pineapple more apples and then we got sweet potatoes and regular like russet potatoes and that is all of our produce we still have lettuce and carrots and a little bit of fruit left over from last week but got all that and then we got two things of our orange juice that we like two things of lemonade they didn't have strawberry or raspberry this week so we just got regular lemonade a thing of stoke cold brew one thing of two percent milk for andy and the kids we still have a little bit of the gallon left that i bought last week and i still have plenty of fair life milk so just got that this week got one dozen eggs two things of sliced sharp cheddar i'm going to use at least one of these packs to make andy's breakfast burritos because that's the cheese that i always use in there got some more of my dill havarti cheese i like to snack on this and use it for like snack trays when we do lunch got a bag of sharp cheddar cheese and then I got some vinegar because I am basically out. Moving on to like pantry kind of stuff. We got some cinnamon crunch squares. The kids really like this. It's comparable to cinnamon toast crunch. So we got a box of that for some easy breakfast this week. I got some more of my favorite granola, the pumpkin seed and flax granola cereal. I will use that in yogurt. And then I also got some instant oatmeal, the variety pack with maple brown sugar, apple cinnamon, and cinnamon spice. Got a box of spaghetti. And then I got some nuts. These are for myself. I don't think anybody else will eat them. Maybe Elijah. They are dill pickle flavored cashews. And then we got some mustard because we were almost out. A can of the Aldi brand Rotel. Some of these apple chips. We really like the ones from Trader Joe's. But I saw these. They had pink lady apple chips. And they also had caramel apple chips. I just got the pink lady ones. Because they sounded good. Then we got two boxes of cereal bars. Both kids picked apple this week. I got some nuts for Andy. Just some mixed nuts. It's uh, less than 50% peanuts. So it's got peanuts, almonds, cashews, hazelnuts, and pecans and they're just sea salt and then we got some brown gravy one of these little energy things for andy as well in case he doesn't have any meal left so i got that some flatbreads lily's been wanting these again for peanut butter and jelly roll-ups so i picked up another pack of those we still have bread so we didn't need that and then for non-food we needed laundry detergent this week and usually i have to get this somewhere else but aldi had it for eleven dollars so it was like $10.94 I think which is a good price for this Simply Tide and this is the one that I usually buy um, and it lasts me a very long time so got that and then got a package of paper plates and that is everything that I got today 
As I said at the beginning, I was able to stay under my weekly budget. My weekly budget is usually around 150, but I was able to get everything that I got today for $107, which I think is pretty good. Um, it would have been under 100 if I didn't need laundry detergent, but yeah. Um, I think I got a pretty good price on that too, because I feel like it's usually around like 12 or $13 at Walmart. So that was a good deal. But that is going to be it for this week's grocery haul. I hope that y'all enjoyed it, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!